it feel like being back here at the Western Oval and particularly in the EJ Witten stand? Well, you just look around us. You know, there's the Westgate Bridge over there, the Newport Power Station. Um, city straight through there. That's there's right. the docks. Uh, Footscray's just below us, just over the edge of the ground. And there's just this vast expanse of green lawn, you know, and the boys have been out there this morning training. You know, goals at each end. I mean, it's just absolutely spectacular. This is what people have always seen when they've come out here. We're, look, we're in the west and we're looking back at the city. Are you looking forward to playing at the grand final this year? Oh, I'm very excited. Uh, it's a huge, huge event. Uh, it totally consumes you. You know, you get out in the middle of the ground and uh, it, there's just so much energy in that place on that day. You know, it's, uh, it's a great honour and a, uh, yeah, I'll be sort of buzzing off my head, but I'll tell you right now. Did you ever think that Holy Grail would become a football anthem? I was trying to write a tune that would energise the band to make everybody feel cool about the record we were making. There was, a, there, was a, there was a lot of arguments going on at the time. And I just sort of looked around at the guys and I thought, we just really need something to kind of galvanise ourselves and make ourselves feel like it's, the journey is worthwhile, you know. So I sort of put this little thing in about the Holy Grail, you know, the quest. Mark, how would you describe <laughs> the typical Western Bulldog supporter? Uh, I'll go into posture, you know, it's sort of like that. <laughs> You know, crouched over. I always find you get to a certain point in the game and you lean forward and you, you've got all this tension in your upper body and you're just like, oh, I cannot. And that's, to me, you know, they look around me and that's kind of what everyone's doing. 